So I've got to dig a hole for an 8x8 right here. I'm going to make it a couple inches bigger you know, than the, the timber. And show you how tough the ground is here to dig. It took me two hours to dig the, the other one that I've already set. And I only need one more right here. And that will be it for the restroom add-on. Start out with this sharpshooter just to kind of make a condition on where I'm going to need to be. And it's time to break out the workhorse. This is a 60 pound electric jackhammer. I don't know if you can see it in the picture. It makes it much easier to dig out here, but it's still not easy. Like I was saying, you never know where you're going to hit a big rock. This is one, one rock right here. Hopefully it's not the size of a school bus. You never know out here. I'm going to try to pry it out of there. Uh, I'm going to do the jackhammer around the edges of it, see if it looks like it's moving. If not, I might have to change to the breaker bit on the jackhammer and... Uh, you know, just break it down the side to get it out of the way. Looks like it's a pretty good size rock. It's not wanting to move. I got a little piece to come off of it. We got a pry bar here, pinch bar, Nope. Still pretty solid. There we go. I got it. bigger well I hit a real hard patch right here it's almost all rock now my favorite tool post hole diggers they don't work real great out here we got a rock on the side of it and all the dirt will fall out except for a real tiny rock that was stuck there. Let's 
see how deep we're getting. I'm sure not going to dig deeper than 24. Uh, I guess I must mention I cut the last foot off the tape because the end was broke. And I riveted the end back on, so that's why it looks like it's uh, a lot deeper than it is. We probably got about another four or five inches to go. We'll be at 24. There's one solid rock right here. I'm going to try to pop some holes in it, see if I can get it to break off. Looks like I got it down to close to two foot. It's uh, close enough for me. Well, I've got my string lines set up to make sure that I, I get it square and the dimension off the existing building where I need it to match this one. So everything's square. Now I'm going to double check and make sure that the uh, 8 by 8 can go in here without hitting any of the sides because I don't want to have to pull it back out. These these suckers are heavy. I made that mistake on the first one. I wasn't going to do it again. I've just got a plumb bob. I'm going to drop it straight down and then I'll make sure that I'm clear on all four corners. I'm not going to cut it. Uh, this is what's left over of a, these are all 8 by 8 by 12 foot long. Uh, the first one of course I, I cut. Uh, it's a little taller than it needed to be. I, I set it about 5 inches below finished floor. I'm going to put the end right here and then try to slide it down in that hole. Get my two foot level, plumb it up, and I'll jump some water in the bottom of the hole and a little bit of concrete, and then double check it. And I'll throw some of these rocks back in to fill up some of the area instead of having to use so much concrete. That's pretty close on that one. Double check this one again. Pretty close, off about an eight. I'm gonna put some water in there, and then uh, dump some cement. the money. about two hours this thing will be rock solid. The ground will suck all the water out of this concrete. It's so dry.
I've got all the strings down, the form boards. Just gonna splash a little water and that way it won't have that concrete stain on it forever. I'll go ahead and get this wet because if I don't, when the wind picks up, it's gonna be blowing dust everywhere. Well, this is how you put a post in the ground out here uh, without a machine anyway. I'll see you on the next one.